my arcane journey continues. What's going on guys, I'm Chris and welcome back to another video. Today I'm watching Arcane episode two. I watched the first episode literally 10 minutes ago and I was pretty damn interested and invested. So I'm excited to roll right into this episode now. But before I do, be sure to hit that like button and share this video with fellow Arcane fans to spread the word that I'm watching the show. Comment down below your thoughts on this episode and your favorite moment and be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified for all my future Arcane reactions and videos in general. So last we left off, this mysterious villainous figure was introduced at the very end. He's working on cooking up some serum that has like lethal potential it looks like, which is just terrifying. Powder and Vi have banded together sisters and they're keeping a secret that they have those little blue spheres. Obviously did the damage at the end of the heist in the first episode, so who knows how big of a role that could end up playing. And Vander's my favorite character in the show. I love how he clearly has a past and he's gonna have to step in into this situation at some point. I also have to say that I know nothing about League of Legends or Arcane prior to this, so this is gonna be a fun journey to continue on, but here we go. I'm watching episode two right now. Alright, is every episode gonna open with a flashback is the question I have. That would be pretty cool, not gonna lie. Kind of filling in the gaps. Where are we? Little danger is worth the risk, don't you think? Hey, open up! The hell? Oh my gosh, never mind, we're getting the POV. I love when we see something from a different perspective. Oh no though, are we gonna see some innocent people die? Oh. No. That would have been devastating. Getting a backstory on these people out the gate, it seems. I'm here for that. Flush out as many characters as you can early on in the show. Who the hell is this? Those things have some sort of mystical ancient power, clearly. It's... Christ. Going full on Doctor Strange. What on earth? That was wild. Very, very trippy to say the least. I'm still unaware of who this is. I don't know if I'm supposed to know who it is yet. Seems like the little kid version of the person who got blasted by the door. And so now his life's goal is to like study this little crystal and that's how I made those spheres maybe? I'm gonna roll with that. Arcade League of Legends. <laughs> what happened here? Science, I guess. <laughs> Who are you anyway? Why does the main dude like who's being investigated low-key sound like Jake Gyllenhaal right now? To ensure that anything dangerous is removed. Hmm. According to my list, includes you. This guy's a little suspect. Somehow the fella who just got arrested is gonna have to get in cahoots with Powder and Vi. That's my prediction. Is he gonna be the test subject? Okay, now. Imprisonment. <laughs> who is this fella? I do love a good conundrum. Is this a cat? But sometimes we venture too far. What manner of inquiry was this? I believe I've discovered something truly incredible. A way to harness magic through science. Ooh, okay. I see what we're doing now. No. No? The arcane is dangerous. Arcane. We got our name drop. Oh. I'm close to a breakthrough. So is the arcane the stone? The little crystal thing? All my life I've pursued the mysteries of science. Only to discover some are better left unsolved. This, I'm afraid, is one of them. Mm. Speak nothing of magic. Do that and I theorize you'll get away with slap on the wrist. <laughs> All right, interesting. So this guy's trying to like figure out more about this crystal, which I think is the arcane. She's a big boxer. She honestly kicks ass. Sander said to lay low. She's pretty smart, not gonna lie. A clever little cat. A sly fox, if you will. You guys know I wouldn't take you on a job you couldn't handle. That was the best job we've ever done. Maybe just don't take powder next time. Love the music in this show. Tell me where I can find them. They're gonna get in a fight with these fellas. I smell it rising up in the air. Give me a name. Oh, is she gonna use one of her little, uh, devices? Ugh, that's not gonna end well. Hey guys, you should see this. Holy shit, the noise in my headphone just startled me. All right, we're about to get a little showdown. Yeah, you got a dip, got a blast. Oh shoot. Hell yeah. By the way, the score, can't get enough of it. The way that she shot is so intense. We're here. I love those zooms. You need to hide those crystals. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> that was great. You wished me to remind you that it's the throne of Mandalore should be right down there. His name is Jace of House Talus. We're going houses. We're going Game of Thrones, baby. 
This one. That's a child's toy. Good. <laughs> Me when I pick up Funko Pops at a store with older people around. <laughs> Besides, we're his patrons. If anyone is meant to speak up. The upper class, very pristine. And now it's like, hell yeah, let's rally in the streets and kick some ass. Overthrow the government. <laughs> I mean, he's just so cool. Come on. Do I look afraid? This man is badass. Vander's got a deal with the enforcers. What deal? I love how we're getting like politics, like the upper class up here, the Senate and Star Wars damn near. And then we were like, have a damn rebellion in the underground. Ooh. Very complex windows. <laughs> you are accused of illegal experimentation and endangering the citizens of Piltover. I'm interested to see how he gets out of this one, if he does at all, even. The materials were far more dangerous than I was aware of. Destroyed a building. Is this the sort of contribution? No, you can't make a <laughs> prototype without breaking a few wrenches. I love how the cat is just defending him so hard. All I see is a boy meddling with things he doesn't understand. The council has more in Is he about to like morph right now? Like, does he have one of those spheres in his pocket? Trying to create magic. <laughs> arcane talents are something you're born with. Okay, hold up. Is arcane the word for magic? Like the, the ability to possess? We're the champions of discovery. Why fear it when we can master mm, it? Okay. You don't understand what's at stake. That's a burden that only I here carry. Damn. Time. This power in the wrong hands consumes. And we know who's trying to get that power. The little evil bastard from the end of the first episode. Cannot happen here, my boy. Please, let him come home. The boy must be punished. A lesser sentence. Are they gonna sentence him to, like, the underground? Jace be summarily expelled from the academy and remanded to the care of his parents. I thought they were gonna, like, move him down below so he would have to team up with Powder and Vi and all them. Which, by the way, that collab is coming at some point. I see what they're doing here. Hard to get a read on the guys, on, on everyone in this room right now, because we just got introduced to a lot on this episode. But he is never to set foot on academy grounds again. Banishment from the academy. Fine, I'll do it myself. That's the vibe I'm getting from him now. Well, this man's about to get ambushed, isn't he? This is that Marcus dude. This is the biggest punk of all the enforcers. He's gonna be the one that volunteers, isn't he? You're looking for four children. I'm about to make your day. But you have to take the antidote or something like that. That's his little uh, bargain he's gonna make with him. What is his deal? I think his name's Jace. He has the stone, the little crystal. That's like huge. That's gonna come into play. I had to say something. Magic saved your life. Yes, but it won't save yours now. My own family won't help me. I'll find someone who will. Brutal. Could these stones really invoke magic? <laughs> yeah, Marcus is about to die or just turn into an absolute unit in Atlantis, wherever the hell they are. The Gungan base on the boo. I mean, like, where are they? There's a monster inside all of us. Oh, this dude's about to be the test subject. No, no, it'll kill me. I'd like to let you in on a very important secret. Power, real power. It comes to those who will do anything to achieve it. This guy's a menace. Like, I really dig him as a villain. His voice is probably half of it, but, I mean, he's creepy as hell. His little lair, his handyman. Like, everything about this dude, it gives me the ick. Pretty damn good villain so far. Oof. Down the hatch. Man's about to hulk out. Yeah. Demonic scream. The score, too. And creepy as hell, really. That was an effective scene. Your name's no good now. What will you do? Join the Talus Hammer business, I guess. He's outcast. You've done enough. Damn. Whatever it This guy is straight out of Star Wars. Welcome to the last drop. Oh, is this that hulked out dude? No. I love to see Vander just clock this dude in the face. Search the place. I fear it's a ticking time bomb. How about proper drink? I'll take the strongest shit you got. Big guy. He just knocks him upside the head with it. <laughs> That's a really smart alarm system. They're quick. Ooh, that was scary. <laughs> I ran into an old friend of yours. He had some stories. Mm, the villain. You weren't always the peacekeeper, were you? You can't escape the past. It's a shame if I had to put them on again. Mm, he's gonna have to put those on eventually. Yeah, he took them off in the first episode at the very beginning. And we're gonna get a flashback to that a million percent. Powder, hold on for dear life. Ah. Damn. She's not gonna make it, is she? Just hold on a little longer? That was nerve-wracking. You people down here are all the same. Mistaking arrogance for bravery. Marcus is a punk, a bum. You're just a small man in a little hot world forgot to bury. Okay. And I'm gonna bury the lot of you. All right, sit on your high horse, bud. <laughs> Wait till Vander takes the uh, cast irons down or whatever he called them and beats your ass at some point. 
Which he's not gonna want to do. It's like Obi Wan and the Obi Wan Kenobi show. Well, okay. No, we're not okay. You heard him. They won't stop. We need to fight back. And if you won't, I will. I feel like it's not wise to fight back, to be honest. They're outgunned out, man. Are we gonna see a hulked out guy like wreaking havoc on the underground? <laughs> like, what is about to happen? Ah, uh, she's having flashbacks to the opening, isn't she? What I don't understand is how you can work with them. We saw what they did. I grew up knowing I'm less than them. I want powder to have more than that, and I'm willing to fight for it. So was I. I led us across this bridge thinking things could change. If I hadn't, your parents would still be alive. I know you want to hurt the top siders, but who are you willing to lose? He makes great points. What are you willing to give up to take down the top dogs, the evil top dogs? I love their father-daughter relationship. The enforcers will come back. I'll figure it out. Man, that flashback scene, when it happens, it's gonna be devastating to see. They wouldn't have opened the show with it for nothing. All right, what is Jace's deal? What, what, what's he, what's he doing? Oh my gosh. Is the stone gonna save him, the little crystal? Am I interrupting? Good lord. How's your problem? I wanted to talk about your work. I saw with my own eyes what magic can do. You've no idea how beautiful it is. And now it's gone. This is like the plot that's gonna take a little longer for me to get fully invested in, I could say. I want to help you complete your research. When you're going to change the world, don't ask for permission. Love that line. Great line. Truly tragic. Like, he was about to jump. This guy's about to save him. It's Victor. Victor. He might be the guy from that flashback vision at the opening. Because he's walking around with a cane. The other guy had a staff. Maybe. What makes you different makes you strong. Always remember that. What the hell were you thinking? Alright, what's about to go down? What's the little cliffhanger ending going to be here? Maybe it's not too late. I see them with the uh, Netflix series logo in the middle of the show. <laughs> Music choice continues to slap in this show. Is Powder about to have her moment? They're gonna capture her, aren't they? Like I predicted in Ep 1. Or is Vander about to kick some ass? Are they doing a fake out? Like, where are they? They're going to Benzo's. Ah, he just had a realization about what's about to happen. Is she about to fight back or give herself up? One of the two. Cliffhanger! Is she gonna fight there at the end? Is she giving herself up? It's hard to say. I mean, the conversation she had with Vander makes it seem maybe she is going to, like, play a little peacekeeper here to save Powder, essentially, and keep her friends out of danger. But again, she might be fighting at the end, too. We'll have to see in episode three. Episode two in the books, I thought it was another really solid entry. We got a total new backstory on this character, Jace, who was introduced, learning more about Arcane, essentially, getting a little backstory on that. The villain injected the serum into that one bum from the first episode that fought our main characters in the streets so now he's all hulked out don't know when we'll see him again and then there's this victor like an older professor sort of figure for jace what is his real backstory who's to say i can already tell we're gonna get a flashback to the opening scene of this show at some point and that's gonna be like one of the best moments in the entire show it'll be at a pivotal moment so i'll probably have to wait a few more episodes to catch that what do you guys think of arcane episode 2 let me know in the comments down below and be sure to hit that like button subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified for all my future arcane episode reactions and videos in general but that's gonna do it for arcane episode 2 until next time see you guys later